喂，咁多位大家好，我系 Sir。今日呢段片呢，我哋就一齐嚟溫下植物嘅气体交换啦。今日呢条题目呢，就係想去量度下一棵水稻喺不同嘅溫度嘅情况底下，佢嗰个光合作用嘅速率同埋呼吸作用嘅速率嘅变化嘅。啊，从翻个实验嘅角度嚟讲啦，不同嘅溫度啦，就係个 I V 啦。咁啊，嗰个光合作用啦，同埋呢个呼吸作用嘅速率嘅变化呢。就係、是、個 dV 啦，咁個實驗咧仲有其他變數咧，佢都有講嘅喎，就係、是、光度啦，同埋二氧化碳濃度咧都係保持不變嘅。咁佢哋就係我哋平時講開嘅 cv 啦。咁而家啦睇翻題目咯喎，咁啊隨住温度變化啦，光合作用同埋呼吸作用佢哋各自速度嘅改變啦。咁題目就問咯，下面邊一句咧係可以正確咁去解釋呢個圖表嘅？咁自不然題目就考返我哋相關嘅解釋數據嘅技能啦。同一時間呢，亦都考下以下嘅概念喎，就係、是、光合作用同埋呼吸作用同個温度之間究竟有咩嘅關係呢？嗱，呢條題目呢，得廿八 percent 嘅人答啱嘅啫。咁究竟難喺邊度呢？我哋就嚟做一擊破咯。第一句啦，我就話啦，喺三十度嘅時候呢。棵植物嘅成長係最快嘅，咁呢一句咧係錯嘅。但係望一望啦，題目上面喂又真係似似地喎。喺三十度嘅時候咧，其實佢光合作用嘅速率的確係最高喎，係佢個 peak 嘅位置嚟嘅喎。之但係啦，最快嘅光合作用嘅速率又係咪真係代表住佢有最急速嘅成長咧？原來又唔等於嘅喎。咁係因為啦，真正嘅成長係在乎於。一個光合作用同埋呼吸作用速率之間嘅不同啦，即係話究竟係光合作用快啲啊，定係呼吸作用快啲啦？咁啊，再簡而言之，就即係話究竟係整嘢食整得多啲啊，定係用嘢食用得多啲啦？原來就係比較緊個 food 嘅 production。同埋 food 嘅 consumption 咯喎，咁所以啦，根據翻三十嘅時候咧，我哋要比較翻就係個光合作用啦，同埋個呼吸作用之間，佢哋個相差咧就係呢個交叉同埋圓形之間嘅差別啦。嚟，咁我順便睇下其他嘅温度啦。喺十度嘅時候咧，就係光合作用高過呼吸作用大約一格多少少啦。二十度嘅時候啦。就係、是、光合作用比起呼吸作用高大約兩格多少少啦。四十度嘅時候咧，誒、哎、反翻轉，佢咧係呼吸作用快過光合作用一格多少少喎。嗱呢一句咧係特登反翻轉嘅喎。原來喺四十度嘅時候咧係 resp 快過 photo 嘅喎。有一個咁嘅觀察啦，係咪？咁所以啦 ，A 呢一句已經四 good bye。同一時間咧，我哋都解決埋呢、這個。食物嘅製造同埋食物嘅消耗嘅相對概念啦，跟住啦去到 B 咯，佢就話啦喺四十度嘅時候咧，棵農作物係唔會吸水嘅，咁啊 B 咧都係錯，咁啊因為啦呢幅圖只係講緊光合作用同埋呼吸作用嘅速度變化啫嘛，有冇講過有關於吸水嘅概念啊？所以啦喺翻呢幅圖，咁我哋去講呢個光合作用同埋呼吸作用嘅時候咧。其實我哋都係不能夠直接地去得出究竟吸水吸唔吸得到嘅，咁啊此其一啦。跟住啦，又講下啦。其實吸水呢個概念係建基於棵植物失咗水啊嘛 ，transpiration 有個 water loss， 正所謂先失而後吸啊嘛，係咪？咁所以啦，個概念就係先失水而後吸水。所以喺呢幅圖，我哋又唔特別見得到個失水速率嘅變化喎，所以我哋亦都唔知道佢有冇吸水啦。或者啦，你會覺得，喂，唔係啊，梁 Sir， 我大約明明地佢講乜嘢啊？佢話四十度嘅時候咧，佢嗰個 respiration 係高過個 photosynthesis 啊嘛。喂，咁 photosynthesis 要用水噶嘛，係咪啊 ？CO2 加水咁樣款。咁而家啦 ，resp 快過 photo， 而 respiration 係會製造水㗎嘛？喺 oxidative phosphorylation 嘅時候，咁製造多水，佢咪可以俾返自己囉，佢咪唔使有吸多咗嘅水囉。咁其實呢個概念呢，都係諗多咗嘅，因為啦，一棵植物。即使啊，你話啦，啲水左手交右手，右手交左手，就好似整咗啲水出嚟。但其實一棵植物主要吸水嘅原因咧，都係因為佢失咗水。其中我哋有一條 DSC 曾經問過嘅，一棵植物吸咗翻嚟嘅水咧有咩用啊？主要咧吸完嘅水都係攞嚟去 replenish， 去補足翻。
嗰個失水嘅。咁所以其實呢棵植物應該係無時無刻都喺度吸緊水就真。點會喺四十度嘅時候突然唔吸水咧？係咪啊？咁所以 B 咧都係四 goodbye。跟住咧去到 C 咯，就係、是、最多人揀嘅答案就係錯嗰個啦。三十五度嘅時候，棵植物就到達咗佢嘅補償點。呢句本身係錯。首先我哋要解決一個重要嘅概念，乜嘢叫做補償點咧？补偿点就系讲紧一棵植物喺一个特定嘅光度底下，佢嘅呼吸速度嘅速率同光合作用嘅速率系一致嘅。咁所以好多同学就拣到呢句咯。哦，嗱，你睇下啦，两常啊，嗱，三十五度大约呢度啊嘛。咁啱啱好 photosynthesis 同 respiration 嘅速度咪一样咯。所以呢个咪个补偿点咯。No no no， 头先我先讲完。补偿点嘅定义，其实佢形容个光度，而唔系形容个温度，所以佢只系讲紧温度喺三十五度嘅时候，佢哋两个一样啫，就唔系补偿。其实所谓嘅补偿就系讲紧，当光度由零嘅时候，即系黑麻麻，渐渐有少少光，渐渐有少少光，渐渐有少少光嘅时候，个 photosynthesis 嘅速度系会越嚟越增加。增加，慢慢趨向於個呼吸速度嘅速度，直至去到一刻 ，photo 等於 resp 嘅速度咁解啫。咁所以原來啦，佢唔係形容緊個温度喎，所以 C 到四 goodbye 啦。所以最後尾嘅答案咧就係、是、D 咯。喺二十度嘅時候，棵植物就有最大嘅食物淨產量。咁呢個答案，當我講解 A 嗰個選項嘅時候呢，其實已經解釋咗啦。喺四十度嘅時候，個呼吸作用嘅速度係慢過光合作用嘅速度，即係代表住棵植物製造嘢食嘅速度，透過光合作用啦，係快過去用嘢食嘅速度，即係呼吸作用啦。你望多一次啦，喺二十度嘅時候，光合作用係快過呼吸作用，快幾多啊？大約兩格多些少。其餘頭先嗰啲咧，一格一格多些少，其實都一定係比二十度嘅位置低。咁所以答案咧就係、是、D 啦。咁其實二零一二年咧都有一條題目都係問補償點嘅喎。嗰一年咧就係問長題嘅，咁啊快啲睇下片温下書咯。Hello student， I'm Mr. Lang。So in this video， we are going to talk about the plant gas exchange。So in this investigation， we are going to study a rice crop at different temperature。So how is the changes in the photosynthetic rate and the respiration rate？ So you can see that in the investigation， we have the IV。That's the temperature, and we have the dV rate of the photosynthesis and the rate of respiration. And then in this experiment, we need to keep the light intensity and the concentration of the carbon dioxide constant. So these two variables, they are the cV. So go back to the question. We have the graph, temperature, x-axis, and the photosynthetic rate and the respiration rate. They are the IV and the DV on the correct axis, and then the question asks us that. So, which of the following interpretation about the graph is correct? So, this question is checking us the skills data interpretation, and it's also checking the concept about the photosynthesis and the respiration. What is the relationship between them and the temperature? So, let's take a look at the options one by one. So, option A. The crops have the maximum growth at thirty degrees Celsius. So you may say that yes, I I can see that at thirty degrees Celsius, the photosynthetic rate is at the peak, is the maximum. Yeah, Mister Lang. So the growth is also maximum. No, no, no. Option A is wrong, because the maximum photosynthetic rate doesn't necessarily equal to the maximum growth. What does it means? Growth actually it depends on the difference between the photosynthesis and the respiration rate.、It、means that we are comparing the rate of the food production and the rate of food consumption. So how can the plant achieve the growth? Actually, it means that the food production rate should be higher than the food consumption rate. So there will be excess food. 
for the plant to build up some new cells or for storage something like this so therefore we cannot just say that oh the photosynthesis rate is at the peak the maximum so it means that it attain a maximum growth so option a is wrong and then for option b the crops does not absorb water at 40 degrees celsius option b is also wrong because this graph doesn't provide the data about the water absorption does any curve tell you the water absorption of the plant not really therefore we don't know such information the water absorption cannot be inferred directly from the photosynthetic and the respiration rate and one more idea is that you may think that, oh yeah, Mr. Lam, I can see that at the 40 degrees Celsius, the respiration is higher than the photosynthesis. So it means that for the photosynthesis, it needs water. I understand. And then for the respiration, it can produce water. So the plants can provide the water to itself. So therefore, it doesn't need to absorb any water. No, no, no. So you may think that yes, there may be some uh, water demand by the plant. However, for the water absorption in the plant, actually, is due to the transpiration, the water loss, right? The plant experiences the water loss, and then there will be a transpiration pool and that it leads to the water absorption. So water loss, it comes first, and then the water absorption follows. So one question has ever mentioned that, asked that, so the water being absorbed by the plant, what's for the purpose is to replenish the water loss, actually. So it tells us that actually the plant constantly lose water. So the plants, they also constantly absorb water. So they never stop absorb water at all. They may just absorb less or absorb more water, but they never stop absorbing water, right? So option B, also wrong. And then option C, it says that at 35 degrees Celsius, the plants reach the compensation point. So option C is also wrong because we need to clarify the concept of Compensation point first. Compensation point is where the light intensity at the point where the rate of uh, photosynthesis is equal to the rate of the respiration. So you can see that compensation point is used to describe a certain light intensity. A certain level of light intensity is not about temperature. So you can see that this question only 28% of students get it correct because most of them, they think that option C is correct because they see that at 35 degrees Celsius, the photosynthetic rate and the respiration rate is really the same. And then they recall the idea, oh, it's compensation point and then circle answer C. No, no, no. Now, you clarify that. Compensation point is to describe the light intensity. It starts that for the plant, okay, it starts from the light intensity uh, from zero, that means in darkness, and then after the sunrise, it's a bit brighter, a bit brighter, a bit brighter, so we can observe that the photosynthesis rate, it becomes higher, it becomes higher, and it becomes very, very close to the rate of respiration. And at a particular light intensity, the photosynthesis rate is equal to the respiration rate. It is compensation point. So the final answer is D. At 20 degrees Celsius, there is a greatest net production of the food. It is the answer. Actually, when we are doing option A, we without this answer already because when we are comparing the photosynthesis rate and the respiration rate you can see that at 20 degrees celsius the difference is the greatest so it implies that the rate of the food production by photosynthesis is higher than that of the food consumption rate okay both of them are higher so you can take a look at the curve at 
30 degrees Celsius is only it's only one box difference and for the 20 degrees Celsius it's around two boxes a bit more difference and then 10 degrees Celsius just one box a bit more so you can see that and 20 degrees Celsius the photosynthesis rate is much higher than the rate of the respiration so the answer is D so you can see that in the past there are long question about the compensation point so watch the video and do the revision